Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad free over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Wipe Up, episode 197. This is a show where I share my opinions on current events, whether you want to hear them or not. And if you don't, then I just recommend uh, not listening to me. That's all you got to do. You don't have to cry about it in my comments. You can just move along. You can move along, live your life, and uh, just don't listen to somebody you don't agree with. That's all you got to do. Uh, but that's what I'm doing, my opinions on things that are going on around the world. Uh, let's get it started, shall we? The CDC has confirmed two cases of monkeypox in children in the U.S. The unrelated cases were likely the result of household transmission. Officials say monkeypox is here. I don't know how dangerous it is. I did a little bit of reading on monkeypox there is no cure. There is, I mean, there are treatments. They're using treatments that are also used for smallpox. Uh, I would imagine if you're somebody who's uh, immune compromised, uh, they are, this, this disease is more tragic or more devastating or more dangerous. Um, but I am not a doctor, I am not a scientist. Uh, but from what I've seen, you know, you, if you get it, you're contagious as long as you're show, showing symptoms. The symptoms look like uh, they're, they're explained to look like zits almost, like uh, pimples. Uh, and they form on like your hands and your face. And uh, like there's certain areas in which you will see these symptoms occur. Uh, and they look like, you know, they look like pimples. And I looked it up and yeah, and it looks kind of disgusting. Uh, and as long as you're showing symptoms, you are contagious and you are contagious anywhere from two to four weeks. So you're dealing with it for a long time, a lot of opportunity to spread it. It's spread through f f human contact. So, you know, it's I, similar to when I was a kid getting chicken pox. Uh, I remember actually being like my friend got chicken pox so i was sent to go stay with my friend so that i would get chicken pox uh, but now because of that that same virus uh can come back in in adults as shingles which i've gotten once before usually they show up when you're under a large amount of stress uh and back in my old life when i was working at a regular job uh, very stressful job. Not a, the job wasn't very stressful. It was just the constant harassment from management uh, was stressful. The bills having to the financial stress uh, of needing to work at a place where you, the work you do is not uh, not respected or valued at all, uh, and uh, just a lot of stress. I just uh, I hated life, and I would get them, and it like was they shows up as like a rash on your back and it hurts it's like super itchy but it also causes a lot of pain um and it, it happens from stress can bring it out and the older you get apparently so i don't know how good it was that i was purposefully exposed to chicken pox but once you get chicken pox seemingly you never got them again uh which apparently is the same thing with monkey pox uh, but I don't know. It doesn't like it's definitely something I guess we don't want getting out into the world, considering there's COVID is still a thing. Uh, you know, people can still get COVID that's been able to evolve because everybody would just rather pretend people just value capitalism and businesses far more than human health. Uh, and and I mean, that was clear when this whole thing started. People like unwilling to put a mask on themselves or their children in order to protect society, like to just eliminate this virus in general. People didn't want to do the simplest of things to help eliminate this virus. But, you know, so the fact that this is a thing I've heard also those same types of people in reference to monkeypox trying to blame it on the the homosexual community the gay community that it is it's only a gay virus which is you know the same kind of rhetoric that they spouted during the aids crisis which yeah maybe there was maybe the 
ways in which the AIDS virus was transmitted uh, were were made more likely in the situation of two gay men having sex. That that would be a more co you know conducive environment for that virus to spread. But that wasn't the case. It wasn't a. I mean, maybe AIDS was the conspiracy theory for AIDS was that it was uh, engineered to eliminate uh, the gay population is one of the conspiracy theories for that. But it wasn't a disease that only affected gay people. And when people try to use that same kind of rhetoric, that same kind of uh, explanation for monkeypox, really just reeks of homophobia. I mean, it, it's so like blatant these days, so obvious these days, when people who are racist or homophobic or misogynistic or any of these things, how they want to blame all of the other marginalized groups for things that are happening, right? It's, it's always other people's fault that this is happening to us. It's not the fact that we aren't taking personal responsibilities in ourselves. It's not the fact that we aren't, we're just ignoring the fact that uh, a virus exists and we're not following any of the protocols that would help eliminate this virus. We, we would just rather pretend it's not our situation and blame it on somebody else. That is like the American way in so many ways and it's so disgusting. And even though it seems like this is something that is clearly contagious, lasts a long time, but doesn't seem to be as like s damaging as COVID is, right? Like I don't think people, I'm aside from maybe immune compromised people and maybe children and elderly, like it doesn't seem like it it affects people that much aside from having these rashes and it taking so long to get rid of. Now maybe like COVID if we don't get a handle on this and it continues to spread, maybe maybe it will evolve into something that's more dangerous. I would imagine that is a potential possibility uh, and a reason why we should be so, you know, cautious with the fact that this is now in the United States. And by the time this episode comes out, I would imagine it is spread far beyond just two unrelated situations. Um, but it's the new thing. It's a new thing, which, you know, the, the, it's just all of these things, whether it's viruses, diseases, fires, floods, severe weather, severe temperatures, like droughts, all of these things are related in the way that human beings just don't want to take any personal responsibility for anything. Right. We are all the bull in the China shop and we're blaming the China shop for not protecting their their China, not protecting their their fragile existence. It's not our fault that we are so clumsy and destructive. Anyway, monkeypox, y'all. Let's take a little break from the Ray Taylor show to promote my live art streams. That's right, I am an artist as well as a podcaster, and I paint live every Thursday at 4.20 Pacific Time. Head on over, the best place ever for streaming, youtube.com slash inspired disorder. That's right, every Thursday at 4.20, you can watch me paint the many faces. Every week, I paint seven new faces of abstract portraits, ink on paper, and you can watch that happen. You can hang out with me while I listen to a classic episode from one of my favorite podcasts. Head on over to youtube.com slash inspired disorder and check it out. Say hi. Let's hang out. Let's have some fun. And let's paint some faces. Now let's get back to the show. Let's move on to uh, something that's just it's on trend with what's going on with this religious extremism that's going on. This Christian religious extremists that are really destroying this country christian religious extremists are destroying america i mean you see it with the the laws that are being passed you see it with the supreme court you're seeing it with states 
uh, similar to like Texas and Florida, um, where just all of the ideologies of these religious extremists are becoming the law. And it's trickling into businesses as well, because Walgreens has employees that refuse to sell a married couple condoms because of their faith. And apparently, Walgreens is backing up their employees making this decision. They don't seem to have a problem selling alcohol or cigarettes or any of the other drugs that are available or, or things that are available that are damaging to humans, that are known to be damaging to humans. Uh, but because of their religious faith, they are unwilling to uh, sell condoms, contraception. And we saw in, in Congress uh, like a ton of Republicans, almost 200 Republicans voted uh, against contraception. Like not only do they want to ban abortions and force women to birth more livestock into this world, not only, but they don't want to even protect people. They don't want to give people the option to avoid pregnancies, which is n not an anti-faith thing at all. Like these are, there's just like, it's just how their brand of religion chooses to interpret a book written by a bunch of different people a long time ago that was created religion created specifically a technology created to control people and the way they choose to follow those words that have been translated and edited and rewritten by multiple men hundreds of years ago they choose to limit other people's freedoms it's insane we're not going to sell you condoms because I believe in a version of Christianity that would make me feel bad at a job that sells poisons in all kinds of other forms. I'm not going to sell you a little piece of latex that goes over your dick. Stupid. It's stupid. Making it so businesses can force employees to join in prayer or you can be fired. Forcing students to have to join in prayer or they can be disciplined. Like these are things that are happening in the United States today. They are grooming generations of children to be indoctrinated into their version of this extreme Christianity. And the Supreme Court is backing them up 100%. And it's not like they haven't been planning this forever. There's a documentary. I've mentioned it before. Jesus Camp. I believe it's on Tubi right now. At least it was last time I looked. I need to rewatch it. It's been forever since I've watched it. But it, it talks about these Christian fundamentalist Christians indoctrinating kids, setting up camps to indoctrinate and groom these kids into believing in this very extreme version of Christianity. And not only that, to push it on other people, which is something that Christians do anyway. Pushing their religion on other people, pushing their lifestyle on other people, even if you're working at a, a job, pushing your religion onto other people. It's ridiculous. Like, imagine if somebody was like, oh, I can't sell you Pepto-Bismol, bro. I believe in Satan. And that fire in your gut is Satan's breath. And I don't want you to extinguish that. So because of my faith in Satan, I can't sell you this Pepto-Bismol. That's insane, right? That sounds pretty fucking insane. That is what these crazy religious extremists are. They are insane. They're cult members pushing on their fictional, fabricated delusions and forcing people to, to follow them, fall in line, or, or, you know, 
all of these police departments that are being uh, funded even more. Budgets are going up everywhere for police departments. Those are the people that are going to come and arrest you if you don't fall in line. And since privacy is out the window because of Roe versus Wade, we have no more privacy in this country. So it's like they, they can track you down and they make it easy. And if you live in places like Texas, somebody can rat you out and make 10 grand off of selling you out. It's insanity. So if you're looking to stop spending money at businesses that support this kind of religious fundamentalism, uh, don't go shopping. Do not spend any money at Walgreens anymore. Go to Rite Aid. <laughs> go to CVS. I don't know how much better they are. But, you know, it's clear Walgreens, it's not in this article, but another article where Walgreens is like, ah, you know, if, if somebody doesn't want to do their job because of faith, it's like, I would love to go back to work somewhere, get another job, and just not do anything and use faith as the excuse. It's just so ridiculous. So anyway, uh, I'm not spending any money at Walgreens anymore. Not that I ever really did, but now it's just another reason not to. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, of course, President Biden got COVID. Kind of just a matter of time. Everybody, I haven't gotten it yet. There's a few people that haven't gotten it yet. Uh, in where I live, uh, myself and my friend have not gotten it. Uh, her kid has gotten it, uh, but was able to quarantine. He got it from his dad. Or school. I forget. I think his dad has gotten it as well. But he doesn't live here. Um, but yeah, Biden got COVID. It's whatever. He's vaccinated and boosted. And of course, all of these like anti-vax people, anti-COVID people, you know, these these Joe Rogan experience sheep, these freak party sheep, death squad, sh death squad sheep, all these people just like can't wait to be like oh, the vaccine doesn't seem to work huh the vaccine it's like the vaccine was never a way to 100 percent keep you from getting contracting the virus what the vaccines and the boosters do is that when you do contract the virus your body your immune system is prepared to attack it and you will recover much faster and not have to suffer through severe symptoms of the virus that's what it does it trains it's like the the vaccine and the boosters is like a training camp for your immune system and when it's you know when it's put in the cage to use an mma reference right when your immune system is matched up against the virus in the octagon it has gone through a rigorous training camp and is well equipped to defeat the virus and will do so much more efficiently than if it's just coming off the couch pretending like it can just do it because they took some dewormer, you know, because they saw their favorite podcaster throw the kitchen sink with all of his money when Joe Rogan got COVID through all of the money he had this this infinite amount of money on all of the different treatments because he decided not to get vaccinated but can afford all of these other treatments to help boost his immune system when the time came sell supplements profiting off of people acting like actual science doesn't work And I'm not even a fan of Biden. Biden, in, in my opinion, is a conservative. He's done a lot more for Mitch McConnell than he has any of the, the progressive people that actually want and need change in this country. Biden is, is like exponentially better than Trump. Don't get me wrong. Out of the two, there was no way. I mean, as far as suicide goes... I'd rather make it happen quick. I'm not going to elect Trump and make it happen slowly and live in a country that clearly we're going in of dictatorships and religious extremists making the, the decisions. Because that's what they want. And I can't vote for that. 
that's not a country I want to live. I barely want to live in this country. And if we go farther down that road of the conservative, the conservative road of dictatorships and religious extremists, I'm out in some way, in one way or another. I'm, it's I refuse. And even though Biden is basically a conservative, basically a conservative, he's a centrist. What a, he's he's I would say he's conservative as fuck. Compared to like other liberal countries in the world, he is conservative, and he's proven it. All of his election and campaigning promises are completely trashed. He hasn't done shit. Using the excuse of like, oh well, you gotta vote. You should have put more people in. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, doing deals with Mitch McConnell to like recommend conservative judgeships. Federal, federal judgeships, lifetime appointments to conservative judges who were anti-abortion weeks after Roe versus Wade was getting. He is conservative. I don't like him. I don't. If he died, fine. Kamala Harris, cool. Uh, maybe it will be better. You know? She will have a lot less to lose if she becomes president. So I don't care. Same thing with Trump. When Trump got it early on, if he died... It probably would have been great for the country. Maybe. I mean, Pence was is a super religious, crazy nutbag, too. But I don't know. It's just I don't like I, I don't worship Biden like people worship Trump. It's just kind of weird to worship a president to like drape yourself in the American flag, yet hate everything this country stands for. Right. You drape yourself in the flag, but like want to push some fictional religious ideology onto everybody not even like a valid version like like if jesus actually existed all of these christian fundamentalists would have him killed immediately because he stands for everything they hate and they they're so brainwashed they're like no way bro anyway biden i hope he gets well i you know i don't want people to die He's, he's on his last leg, but he is vaccine boosted. He'll be fine. He's got all of the same resources that Trump had, and that was before vaccines were even around. So whatever. I'm not a fan of Biden, but not also, also not surprised that he got it. Because it seems, especially from his administration, they don't seem to care. They're, they're pretty oblivious to wanting to curb the virus anymore. They, you know, they did the vaccine thing. They make tests available. They make masks available. And then they, they wash their hands. You know, they Purex their hands just like that Uvalde cop. While, children, while, peop, while the body count is piling up, just washing your hands of the whole situation. Not my problem, bro. We did bare minimum. Let's take a little break from the show to promote the many faces. That's right. I am also an artist. I do ink paintings on paper of abstract faces. A new face, a new painting gets released every single day over at InspiredDisorder.com. So head on over to my website to purchase original artwork directly from the artist. Also, there are prints available for select images. Head on over to InspiredDisorder.com, buy original art, buy prints if that's your jam if you want 8 by 10 prints on high quality paper also if you're looking to wear some art there are shirts available with original artwork by myself select faces from the many faces are also available in t-shirt form you go to inspiredisorder.com you buy original artwork you buy prints you buy shirts you're supporting an artist directly and if you're the type of person that likes to invest in nfts there are also nfts available for select faces go to inspiredisorder.com now and now let's get back to the show let's move on to our last story cops open fire into a crowd because they thought somebody had a gun now when cops think somebody has a gun they could have Skittles, they could have a phone, they could have a lighter. Uh, there's a lot of things humans carry in their hands that aren't guns. Uh, I mean, they don't even have to have anything in their hands. 
Uh, but saying they thought they saw a gun is kind of their go-to thing. But shooting into a crowd of people is a new low. It's just a new level of just barbarity that we're seeing police stoop to. Just shooting into a crowd of people because maybe they had a gun. Now, let me ask. I mean, I know this was, where was this? In Denver. Oh, my God. In Denver. I used to live in Denver. You know, there's a lot of people who own guns in Denver. I don't know what the laws are, but it seems like Denver is a place where you can carry guns. You know, there's a lot of places where open carry is is cool. Right? It's New York, Texas. Like, imagine that. Of course you're going to see people with guns in places that allow guns. So, what? Like, cops see you with a gun? I mean, I can only imagine the color of skin, the amount of melanin that was in the group of people that they shot into. But I can't imagine they, they would get burned too easy standing out in the sun. It doesn't seem like they shot into a group of whiteies. Well, there are a lot of whiteies in Denver, but they sure love to shoot people with melanin in their skin. Just disgusting, man. They're just slaughtering people left and right. And they're getting raises because they can't. Having prob- problems hiring people to murder innocent citizens. You know? Which is should show you that like, oh, maybe we should get rid of this thing that we can't even recruit for anymore. Versus they're just scraping the bottom of the barrel. Like anybody that wants to kill people, like if that's something that you're you're into right as a lifestyle to like slaughter humans you can get paid to do that as a police officer and most likely i mean at worst at worst unless unless it is a global protest right like george floyd unless it's that that small instance where the entire world is protesting the fact that you murdered somebody all other cases, usually you just get put on sometimes unpaid, sometimes paid leave. Like, it is mild the type of punishment you get for killing innocent people in this country as long as you're wearing a badge. So it's like the people that are into that kind of lifestyle, that are into that kind of thing where they can kill people with impunity... Those are the people that are going to be signing up to be police officers. And they're getting raises. Biden, the this the thing that the guy that the the right says is a uh, a a leftist extremist, which is insane. The guy who in reality is very conservative is exponentially funding police more than fixing the environmental issues he's like investing four billion in environmental issues but like investing 33 billion into policing because he knows things are going to get worse people are not happy with the fact that they're not getting paid anything by businesses protesting is going to get more definitely going to see more cops killing people People are going to get more and more upset with this country, especially if it goes right. Especially if conservatives win the next presidency and install a dictator. So in order to control the livestock of this country, which that is what we are as citizens, we are livestock. We mean nothing to this country other than to produce money. We produce labor for companies produce money and taxes that the lower classes pay for while the billionaires just stack exponential profits businesses stack exponential profits but the federal minimum wage can barely buy you a coffee at starbucks and now we have cops just shooting into crowds of people it is insane that people support this this institution It is insane. Just zero value of life. Zero humanity. 
zero morality. Even like you want to talk about the contradictions in religious people. People who like one of the only things as I'm aware of that God actually wrote the Ten Commandments, right? Actually like document that God actually wrote, not like people hundreds of years later wrote down in all the books that became the Bible, but like the thing that God the Ten Commandments that God actually wrote, if you believe that bullshit. Thou shalt not murder. Well, what the fuck do you think police are doing? They're murdering. And of course, religious fundamentalists will make excuses. They will deny the will of their Lord in order to justify the slaughtering of innocent citizens as long as it's not them. As long as they get to keep their toys, their little guns, Anyway, a cab all day. We need to regulate the police. There needs to be federal regulations of police. We need to make sure that their duty as a police officer is to protect and serve, which it is not at this point. They don't have to do shit. It is not their job to protect or serve the public at all. If you have a restraining order against something, it's just a recommendation. The cops aren't aren't like forced to uphold that on any level and that's been proven in the supreme court so we need to regulate the police we need to audit the police we need to see all of the ways they are wasting taxpayer money and once we do that we need to defund the police because they are a massive waste of taxpayer money you look at the 400 people that were involved in the uvalde school shooting that did absolutely nothing for a solid hour did nothing but but keep that shooter safe from anybody intervening in his slaughter of children that is what the cops are doing they are on the side of domestic terrorists so much so that they shoot into crowds of people and their excuses they thought they saw a gun anyway Let's do some shout outs. <laughs> Get out of here, shall we? Shout out to ABC News. Shout out Now This News. Shout out LA Times. And shout out Vice News. But most importantly, shout out to you. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.